Hello, Oscar. My name is Sean Everett. I'm the website analysis expert at Zucor Marketing in San Antonio, Texas. And uh, thank you for talking with Eric. He sent your website over to me for analysis. And that is what this video that you're watching is. Now, uh, I've looked over your site and I found essentially that you are underperforming uh, in your area and these folks are beating you at Johnson Floor and Home. Uh, now, they're the ones who are beating you the most. There are other sites, too, that are beating you on the Internet. And uh, that's what I'd like to address. I'd like to show you how that's happening. And I'm going to show you the numbers and I'm going to show you uh, the letters, as it were, to uh, get you uh, back in the game. Now, uh, you have a great website. There's nothing wrong with it. It is professionally designed. You clearly spent some money on it. And your expectation is, is that this site is going to bring you uh, customers. That's why any of us do this. It's not just a novelty to have something anymore. So um, what you need to do is uh, look at what's inside the site because that is what needs to be tweaked a bit in order to make your site more palatable. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Now, uh, the first thing that I do when I do an analysis is I go and I look at this Ahrefs. It's a paid tool that I have. I have a subscription to this. This shows me your metrics, how you have been performing over the last couple of months. And it gives me some of the uh, numbers on where your uh, site stands. Now, I'm going to come back to this one. The next thing I do is I go and do a regular old Google search of Tulsa, Oklahoma flooring. Now, the reason I do that is because uh, Google is responsible for 96% of the traffic on the internet. 96%. That is just a crazy number. If you did 96% of the floors in Tulsa, somebody would come to your door and knock on it and say, what the heck is going on here? But um, Google is too large to ask that question of anymore. Um, so, you know, a lot of money means a lot of lawyers, so they're fine. Uh, but uh, here we go, Tulsa, Oklahoma flooring. Now that's what people are going to type in when they're looking for somebody to do flooring. And because Google is responsible for 96% of where people go to, um, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you uh, the results page and uh, I'm going to explain how Google works by uh, showing you that. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you though is that uh, Google really loves content. And what I mean by that, let me do this. I'm going to copy and paste your uh, website into this word counter. You have 571 words. That's great. I'm going to do that same with them. And uh, here we go. They have 755 words. Now, uh, words may not seem like that big of a deal. Yeah, words, so what? We're down 200 words. Well, here's the thing. Google doesn't have any intelligent way to determine how good a site can be for their search customers. Their search customers they want to protect and they want to send them to places that are relevant and relevancy to them is different uh, than it means to you and me. I want a company that's hardworking and has uh, you know customer satisfaction, but Google wants to send them to sites that have a particular set of uh, skills, if you will, on it, a, a, a kind of site. Now, uh, I'm going to show you what those are. There's three things that Google wants. And the Google has developed an algorithm, and that algorithm uh, crawls through the internet. It looks at all the sites, and it determines the order of absolutely everything on a results page. Now, because they have more words than you, that makes them more viable. Now, uh, the truth is, is that Google wants 1,500 words. Now, that seems like a lot, uh, but it is not. It's very easy to fit a bunch of words into your uh, a web page that you already have. Uh, and there's ways of doing that that are, you know, it could be a more hidden. For instance, uh, you could uh, hide words within these pictures. You already have uh, a way that uh, you can click on this and it takes you to a catalog. Uh, and that's great, uh, but there are other ways to do it, like if you show some of your actual work. Um, yeah, this looks like a catalog. I don't know if it's your work. It's a great uh, uh, you know, photo of, of your work. Um, but having uh, individual photos that are part of your company that you have taken are what is actually uh, going to be useful to you there also. Um, now, uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is that all words are not equal at Google. And what I'm talking about is this, keywords. Now, you have 308 keywords. That's a really good start. It really is. 
Keywords are words, uh, little phrases, if you will, that Google wants to be and expects to be on your website. And why? Because they take all of the sites that come up as a result of this search, for instance, Tulsa, Oklahoma flooring, and they uh, look at all the different things that, that uh, um, those websites have in common. This is the other way that they determine whether a site is worthy of their search customers or not. Uh, the more keywords, the more uh, they believe that it's going to teach their search customers about whatever it was that they have typed into that Google search uh, box. Now, um, you have 308 keywords. Johnson has 2,200. Now, uh, I can show you what those are. That's what the advantage of this paid tool is. Now, obviously, a bunch of these are going to, I don't even know what that is. That's just craziness to me. Maybe it means something to you, but uh, apparently it comes up enough that that uh, people, um, I don't know, Dixie Home, Chilton, 6678, Lava. I don't know what any of that means, but maybe you do. But a lot of these are going to look very similar. Uh, flooring Tulsa, Flooring Stores Tulsa, uh, Tile Stores Tulsa. You and I know that these are very similar, but the Google algorithm does not. It is just looking for uh, similar things. And whatever order those come in, is what it's looking for. So uh, flooring Tulsa is different than Tulsa flooring as far as the algorithm is concerned. Now, um, uh, I mean, there's a bunch of things down here that uh, uh, Happy Feet Sarasota, I don't know what that means. Um, maybe it's part, oh, there we go, Mohawk. I know that that's a carpet uh, uh, um, brand. So, uh, but you know, uh, gingerbread aesthetic, boy, none of this means any. I guess maybe that's one of the styles of the Mohawk. I don't know. But as you can see, they, they literally have like uh, the styles of everything listed on their website. There are another 58 pages of this. And if they're good enough for them, they're definitely good enough for you. And even if you use a different, uh, um, other than Mohawk, maybe, even if you use a different brand, uh, having that brand styles listed, as you can see, is something that could be important. Now, uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is backlinks. Backlinks is where your site appears on somebody else's site. In other words, like if you're on Yelp, um, and uh, they have a link that uh, takes people back to your site. That's what we call a backlink. Now, what's most important there is the number of domains that you are on. You are on 36 different domains, and Johnson is on 39. It's not that big of a jump, but I can tell you it's probably because keywords actually are more important to a search than the domains. The domains do matter, and here's why they matter. Uh, Google doesn't have any way to vet your site, uh, and so what they want to do is make sure that other people are going there too. So the more people that go to a site, the more Google wants to refer that site to their search customers. That's the bottom line of it. Now, those are the three things, essentially, that Google is looking for, the Google algorithm. Uh, and I'll review those again in a moment, but uh, here is their referring domains. As you can see, there's a lot of them that just have to do with like MapQuest or uh, let me click over here to get rid of that. Um, uh, MapQuest, Yellow Pages, uh, Super Pages, Chamber of Commerce, Top Rated Local, anything that is shop flooring, though they have a link back from their manufacturer. Um, that's good. If you can get your manufacturers to put you on their website, that's good because they have larger websites and uh, you want anything that is rated 70 and above. Now, this rating that I'm talking about shows the strength of a domain's backlink profile. In other words, uh, these sites have a lot of uh, backlinks and a lot of domains that they are on. MapQuest is on 119,000 different domains. Um, Shaw Floor is on 6,898 domains. Now, you want to be on those sites because uh, Google says, you know, if they're on the more popular sites, that must make them more popular. Essentially, uh, Google is the mean girl in high school, and uh, they are the ones determining <laughs> who gets who gets the uh, right to walk down the hallway without being uh, annoyed? So uh, uh, that's what we're looking at here. This is a scale of zero to 100, by the way. So 100 be the most you could get. And uh, as you can see, there are a lot of these. 
Um, I can think of a bunch that are more uh, that in the 90s that you could be on. And this is just a question of filling out a profile, um, uh, not unlike the Google business profile that they want you to have. Now, the Google business profile is right here. This is where you can see that in the map pack. Uh, this is... Um, the companies that are uh, have filled out a Google business profile and that's why they are up here near the top and of course Johnson floor and home is the number one in the organics that's why they are getting so many hits so much traffic from Google now uh, the three things I'm going to tell you about that the algorithm wants is one it wants the Google business profile two it wants uh, more and better keywords and three more and better backlinks now uh, all three of these things are stuff that you could implement right away you could do it this afternoon if you have the wherewithal on your website to add those things um, uh, and some of them are going to just take a lot of time like filling out profiles and making sure that you are on those other sites that had a lot of other hits on them uh, and it's just a question of hey I'm here click 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 type 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 that's how you get on those now um, here's what it all comes down to your traffic last month was 89 that's up 27 from the month before that means you're on the way up but here's what Johnson had they had 410 so they had four times more opportunity more or more than four times uh, to have one of their visitors turn into a customer now I don't know what the percentage is obviously not all 410 people who visit their sites are going to become customers any more than the 89 that visit your site but I can tell you that they have four times more opportunity to make that uh, uh, be the case and a lot of people find their information as you know uh, on the internet anymore uh, you know newspapers are dying and I don't know about billboards but uh, I don't know how useful those are, to be quite frank, but uh, uh, I know that the internet is a way that a lot of people use, and getting more traffic to your site is exactly what you need. Now, uh, uh, all of these things that I've told you are things you can implement today. Uh, I know that uh, we can also help you make these changes with the goal of getting you a bunch of new customers. Now, Eric will be following up with you to get some feedback about the ideas that I presented in this video. And I just want to thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you, Oscar. Have a great rest of your day.